Hey, Larry Hockman, no more holding back.com, t3method.com. Got brought back today to something that was really fascinating. And if you're, in, if you're doing anything in sales, network marketing, affiliate marketing, selling your own product, this is going to be helpful to you. I'm thinking back to when Diane and I were in our first network marketing company. This is going way, way, way back. And we were working with a funded proposal. Go check that out. Diane's got some great stuff on it if it's something that you're interested in knowing more about. But what we would do is we would get leads. We'd get purchased leads um, from someone who was interested. They had expressed an interest in working from home. So we'd get a name, we'd get a phone number, and I'd make a call. And assuming I got a live person, first thing I would do is I would ask, why are you interested in working from home? And I'd get the answer. Usually work, I want to stay home with my kids. I want to go on vacation. I want to have more money for the mortgage, whatever the things are, the usual things. And I'd write down the person's name and I'd write down their reason. And then I'd say, okay, your next step is to whatever it was. Usually it was to go get a package of information. And then I would make an appointment to get back with them after they've reviewed the stuff. And by the way, this is something that I'm not even in network marketing right now, so it's kind of irrelevant. But this is something that I would not do at this stage of our careers, thank goodness. But I would get back to them whatever time and... and Nine times out of ten, they didn't do the thing that they said they were going to do. That's just the numbers. That's the way it, it is. And by the way, it's the primary reason why I don't do it that way anymore. But here's what would happen. They would always say, assuming I got a live person, they would always say, no, I didn't do that. And I would say, did you change your mind about making more money for your family? Did you change your mind about staying home with your kids? Did you change your mind about whatever? And of course they didn't, but it boxed them into a psychological corner where they would have to say to themselves, Ooh, maybe I didn't. And it, it was an awkward, uncomfortable situation. I've been a counselor for 25 years. I've got no problem with high stress situations, but this one was, it, it was rough. Um, and it, as a sales tool, did it work? I got one person out of all those people who actually went and took a closer look and, and bought a $40 product. Yay us. Message that really comes out of all this stuff is that you can put all kinds of manipulative stuff going. You can use all your hot buttons. You can use all your psychological whatevers. There's great sales techniques. Anytime that you manipulate or bully or use any kind of pressure to get someone into the thing that you're doing, you're either going to have to keep that pressure on them to continue them or you're going to have somebody who goes and does that same kind of thing, for, especially for network marketing. They're going to try and do what you did. And most people aren't built for that. I'm not built for that. I can't imagine anyone who's listening is particularly interested in that either. Get good at being strong, at being fun to be around, at being the person who doesn't need to use those tactics. And then paint what you got and paint yourself in the most positive and truthful light that there is. I won't ever have to do that stuff again. Get on my newsletter. It's free, for real. No more holding back .com. You're serious about making some real changes to your body. I'm not going to bully you into this. I'm inviting you. T3method.com. We do some great stuff. I'd love to have you there. Talk soon. Bye-bye.